Kevin, tell, talk to us about this debt ceiling. We heard last night about President Trump's taxes, at least for 2005, but then the focus really has to shift to what happens with this debt ceiling and what it does politically. David, since we last spoke, I've been talking with a couple of sources within the Tea Party movement uh, here in Washington at the think tank communities, and I can tell you that they have several concerns about this budget proposal that we are going to be getting uh, within the next day. And they view this, of course, as the one of the second tests after health care about government spending. They have severe concerns about the national debt. And while Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin will use the quote unquote extraordinary measures to make sure that the U.S. Uh, makes, makes good on its debt obligations. They have concerns about an April 28th deadline. They need to pass some type of partial government spending till bill to avert a government shutdown. All of this is really exacerbating uh, issues and tensions uh, already because of concerns with health care and now, of course, with government spending in the budget. So, Kevin, how seriously should the markets be taking this? We remember back under the Obama administration, we had this brinksmanship going on, but that was when we had Republicans up on the Hill and a Democrat in the White House. Is it really possible that they would take it right to the brink of shutting down the government or, even worse, defaulting on U.S. debt? David, I think when you take a look at what the public statements have been from uh, several of the administration officials, even in our own reporting, uh, uh, we've heard that administration officials have said publicly that they don't want brinkmanship. They want to avoid brinkmanship. All of that said, this is the political reality. You have a Tea Party members, you have the House Freedom Caucus who have these concerns. And so right now, uh, it would appear that Republican leadership doesn't want to have brinkmanship. But at the end of the day, it's going to come down to the Tea Party and it's going to come down to whether or not President Trump can build that bridge with the ultra-conservative members.